Um, oh, I didn't hardwire myself in this morning. Shit. Okay, oh well. Um. You might, uh, shit. It's too late. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Welcome. To. Hunter the Reckoning Indie Circle. It has been a while since we've done this. Um, as you can see, one of our players does not have a camera on this morning. Uh, tech issues are a fucking bitch on this channel. Professor Ellis travels from dinner and a game to come taunt uh, our player Seb today. That fucking bitch. <laughs> this is what happens <laughs> when you don't let the Reaper do his job. <laughs> Um, as always, this is an 18 plus stream. If you're under the age of 18, um, please leave. As always, viewers, viewer discretion is advised because we do go over some very tough topics, which is not limited to just drugs, sex, gore, violence, and so on. We do go over some very potentially triggering content. So please, if you need to step away from your mental health, please do so. Your mental health matters than some silly TTRPG. Um, also, whatever we do on this channel is not advice or do what we do. Because half of the shit that people do in these games is illegal. Um, no. Morally gray. Need I point out I Emery, the Hakata, oh. feeding off of corpses in the morgue? They're not using it anymore. <laughs> So last where we left off, y'all found Gloria, went with Xena to go to the library. Y'all went to the mm -hmm. Secret Hunter Library to find out more information on things called abominations. Because come to find out, spoiler alert for mm -hmm. the um, the other group has figured things out. There's not just one abomination running in Indianapolis. There's two. No, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. There's what? There's not just one. There's two. Oh, no. But the vampire group thought. is handling the other one. Well, handling and and uh, <laughs> well, if, 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 if <laughs> well, wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. A log roast is trying to sleep with it. No. <laughs> no, more like uh, they they are the their their kindred are stuck in a car being shaken by a werewolf. So they are like they are like treats okay. inside of a kong. To a very, gotcha. very happy boxer. Gotcha. Okay. No. Worse. A very, worse. very angry German Shepherd. Worse. A Malinois. Worse. What's worse than a Malinois? Uh, Boy dog. A Chihuahua. I don't think we can really compare a werewolf to most things. So I mean. Oh, especially when in Krinos? Yeah. No. Ugh. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Sorrows. Prayers. Sorrows. <laughs> sorrows. Sorrows. Prayers. Hail Marys. Uh, I think we'll be fine at that point. <laughs> the only yes, Hail yes. Marys I will so, be throwing is grenades. So. So uh, I mean, we're at the library. Yes. So if I remember correctly, one of y'all had a perk that y'all wanted to use. Uh, I do believe that's me because I have edge. I have a library edge. Yes. And I have the where they hide and who they are. Where perks. they hide and who the they are. Okay. So we are going to pull it up. I need you to roll for me. Um, by the way, just for this, y'all are going to be in here the entire day. Okay. Oh, no. So I need you to roll a resolve in academics. So resolve academics and I get to add for my perks? Uh, no. Nope, okay. 
Uh, actually, hold on. No, okay. Um, Sam, close the door. The door's open. Uh, that was not me. It was Bean, I know. Uh-huh. Can't so, reach. So just my academics didn't result in? Correct. Okay. You do not get desperation dice for this. Uh, two successes. Two? Mm-hmm. That is not a win. Ugh. So, I will let you know you can attempt again in a little bit. Okay. So, the three of you are in the library. Xena is just sitting at a table with her feet propped up. Watching you all just going through the books. Even though y'all were told directly where these books were, I guess you didn't hear the old man at the desk. Is there any role I can do to attempt to recall what he said? <laughs> oh, GB. Um. It would be a resolve and. It would be academics. Fuck. Or we could do intelligence resolve. That wouldn't be any. Or intelligence resolve well, would be a possibility. Could I have done intelligence academics for my research? Nope. It nope. is, since you are using your edge, the edge pool is resolve in academics. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So let's see, it's slash. H. Hi, guys. Uh, we use the, uh, what is it? What's the bot called? Something of Darkness? Realm of Darkness? Yeah, Realm of Darkness bot. We use the Realm of Darkness bot. It's super great. Ugh. How do you use willpower again? Uh, you reroll th three dice that are failures. I'm gonna give that a try. Yep. Just click roll, reroll failures. Oh, there we go. Four you, successes. I went, from, I went from a single success to four. Okay, with four successes, you remember exactly where it is. Do you relay that to anybody? Yes, it's like... Wait, didn't the librarian said it was over in this section? Uh, meanwhile, um... Luca, what are you doing? I'll put in the, uh, the, the, the Twitch chat of what Luca was doing. He has one book propped up like he did back in high school, and he is taking a nap. <laughs> really have nothing I could, like, research-wise that could help with this. <laughs> perfect. This you just lines up he's, perfectly he's, with he's what valid. I have. He, he is built strong and not smart. Valid. Valid. Mm-hmm. All right, you may attempt your res your edge pool again. Okay. With an additional die. Woohoo! That is a critical success. How many? Two critical successes, and so a total of six successes. Perfect. So just so you know, I need you to write this on your sheet right now. Okay, let me pull that up. On top. So what are your edge, uh, your perks? Uh, who they are and where they hide. So for where they hide, you get an additional three dice. Okay, let me put that on here. To locate it. Mm-hmm. And then an additional three dice for any clues and to identify what it is. They All are right. two separate things. So, and once you use that, it is gone. Gone. Okay. So you have an additional three dice for that. Excellent. Yep. Which is super nice. Mm-hmm. So, 
So, you are going through the library, and the fact is, you're looking up on things called abominations. So, abominations are things that are both feared by both kindred and guru. Because oh, of the following. Let me pull it up real quick, because I actually have things written up for this. <laughs> Shocking. I know. Hi, Wacky. How are you feeling, baby? I know you've not been feeling good. Um. So. They have names called the following. The Undying Children, Luna's Demons, and Pale Ones. It is extremely rare for a guru to survive the embrace. Mm -hmm. So, okay. usually, abominations are killed before the next sunrise, after their embrace. However, in this thing with this, the longer they survive, they are more powerful than Kindred and Guru on their own. They've been known to be quickly driven insane, going back to bestial instinct and incapable of acting remotely human, which endangers the masquerade and the veil. The veil is a Guru term, just so you're mm -hmm. aware. That's what I figured. This... This incident here is one of the very few times, one of the few times that Guru and Kindred will team up to hunt this shit down. Because they are a threat to everything. And for werewolves, this is a threat to Gaia. Alright, so this thing needs to be put down and put down hard. With prejudice. However, Worst case scenario, if an abomination keeps their sanity and is able to learn their abilities the correct way, they are one of the most powerful entities in existence. So put down and put down very, very hard. However, there are some downsides to being an abomination. Mm -hmm from what you discover. They are not able to naturally regenerate. They have to spend blood in order to heal like a kindred. They can still shapeshift. They still can use the guru gifts and rites but they cannot increase their gnosis, or basically in W five they can't increase like their um basically their rage or their willpower to use stuff. Okay. They cannot. They also survive. They also have chronic depression. Don't we all? What? <laughs> Got the big sad. Their dice pools are halved. Just so you're aware, out of character, their dice pools are halved at all times. And they cannot, just so you know, cannot spend willpower to re-roll dice. Right. Okay. Also, good thing, they cannot embrace. Oh, thank God. They can't make uh, more yeah. of them. Yeah. All while Brendan's reading that, he's been rubbing the scar on his throat. Mm hmm Where it got, got ripped, almost ripped out entirely by this thing. Yep. They cannot embrace. Please tell me there's something in that book that tells us a better way of killing these things. However, there are some names listed of known abominations in this book. Alonzo, is. Alonzo Montoya 
is Jin Malkavian, former guru, Poison Tooth, fifth Jin Nosferatu, Sobek, fourth Jin Ministry Methuselah. And Sarah Childslayer, Grawl, Clan Unknown, Generation Unknown, Location. You said Sa yep, Sarah Childslayer. Okay. And if you would like to know what a Grawl is, um, you can roll an Intelligence Occult for me, real quick. Yeah, let me pull that up. Uh -huh. So, ooh, I'm actually somewhat good at this. Uh, that is four successes. Bear shifter. Where bears? Yes. Where bears exist? Yes, they're extremely rare, and they were once known as Gaia's original protectors. Yeah, I can't imagine why. I think a werewolf is scary. A were bear? An orphanage should build, be built overnight. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it jumped to code. How, actually, you do have an embrace. <laughs> actually, you do have an embrace date for Sarah Child Slayer. Okay, when was that? 850 BCE. Oh shit. Oh, so she's old. So she's um, like Methuselah old. I can tell you in just a second. Nope, I don't know. She's either Methuselah old or however, damn near antediluvian old. However, I would love to give you a little fun fact. Uh, it, she is rumored to be one of the people that led the events described in the Old Testament in 2 Kings 2.24. Chapter 2, verse 24. Oh, lovely. Do you know what event that is, Sam? That's when they... When Elijah cursed the children and the bear came out and killed them all. Because they were making fun of him for being bald. Correct. Correct. Oh, fuck. He was the bear. <laughs> I guess she. I guess they have a respect for hair, then. Okay. Um. No. Now we see why she's called Child Slayer. Mhm. Mm so. All right. Just please tell me there's something in the book that gives us any kind of edge on how to kill these things. Since they are still Guru, technically they still once in a certain form they are. Um, for fun fact, they are vulnerable to silver in certain states. However, if they are in Hamid, the human form, they are immune to silver. It's after that that they are not. Hi, guys. That is fun new W5 lore. Mm-hmm. So, same old, same old, just a lot harder to kill. So, also, you may need to figure out what clan this abomination is. Mm -hmm. To get an idea of what abilities it may possess. Correct. Which means y'all need to go talk to a kindred. Oh, well, we have uh, one with us, don't we? Which I need all of you to roll me a wits and awareness real quick. Oh God damn it! Oh, God. Luca, what is your sleepy boy? Sleepy boy, you've been kicked by Xena. You're awake now. Oh, you said um, wits awareness. Yeah. Yes, wits awareness. Would aware the the specialty awareness instinct kick in here? No. Or no. Nope. This is just a sight thing. Oh shit. Hey, three successes. Okay. Also three successes. 
Okay. Luca. Two successes. Gloria's not here. Gloria's gone. Gloria's the werewolf, isn't she? Yes. The one that has that Zach has a hot for? Yes. Shut up. Where's the popper? Looks what? around. Uh, hey, where's your girlfriend? Uh, what is it? What did yeah. I name the dog? Petunia. Petunia just pokes her head out from under the table. At being oh. at the, yeah, the word pupper. pupper. <laughs> uh, there's the pupper. All right. <laughs> Zach, where's oh, your girlfriend? What? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I wish. <gasps> oh. It's like. Uh, oh, are you talking about the little redhead that just um. That was here yes. with y'all. She she got a phone yes. call and she left in a hurry. Oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, she was already starting to grow fur off of her her fucking arms when she left. Oh, that's really not oh, good. Oh boy, that's fine. You know, it probably means that thing was spotted again. <coughs> Did you life these sixty her yet, so we can track her phone? Did I what? Life three sixty is this app where you can like GPS each other. No, didn't come up in conversation. Oh, something you, about man. something about the hospital. Oh mother Which okay. hospital. There's one in downtown Indianapolis. I'm not naming the name of the fucking hospital. I'm too tired God, for that it's shit. Like, it's like well, at least we have a lead. Mm. Yeah, I think you better hurry because I think she was going into Krenos. Which, good luck, because y'all are going to have to have a lot of willpower to not forget what you fucking saw. <laughs> Delirium's a bitch. It is Indiana University Health, downtown. Yep. It's like... Let's fuck. Let's go. Zena, yeah. please tell me you've got some anti. Where anti? Uh... I have a trank gun. And what is that gonna Hell do? Yeah, let's go. Big red. Trank the fuck out of him. What else? Okay, the tranks I have can knock out a rhino. Okay, that'll work. Okay. No, yeah, that should be questionable. Like, how the fuck? <laughs> that should. No, <laughs> Brendan just <laughs> looks. <laughs> Brendan just looks. Yeah. We have to talk about your ketamine yeah. supplier, but later. Let's go. Hell yeah. Fucking rhino tranks. Let's fucking go. There's uh, a party. Yeah, Granny. Granny Granny has contacts. Oh, that was Hell actually. yeah, Granny. <laughs> Luca, <laughs> are go, you? Granny. <laughs> granny is Luca's favorite person. <laughs> yeah. Brendan is already going down to his Jeep and putting up his... Like little red flat strobe. Oh no, Petunia's already hopping a... into your front seat, like in your car. Come on, Petunia. Yep. I get to put up my little corner strobe because I technically city employee, haha, <laughs> county employee. Yes, you are. Honey, she's about to break out again. I can't stop her. Your baby. Hi, I have a child named Bean. Um. Anyway. Right. Anyway. Furry. Do, I do wait to see if the rest of the chuckles get in the jeep. Uh, uh, Zena gets in her van. Zena gets in her van. Okay. Zach's gonna be jumping in the jumping in the back of the van and start getting the trank ready. Bean. Luke is getting the passenger seat of the van. Okay, so it's just Brendan and Petunia. Yep. Sam, the door. Hi, welcome to my life of having a cat. <laughs> she likes to break into the doors. Uh, yes, Wacky, Ambrose. Absolutely. An abomination. Yeah, no, just so you're aware, Ambrose is one of Wacky's characters that is actually an abomination. Um, so that's why I'm giggling. Um, <laughs> so, y'all get in the car and y'all are heading to the hospital. Mm-hmm. I need everyone to roll Dex Drive for me, please, who are, whoever is driving. Not me. Um, uh, that man, would be me seat. and Xena. Uh, yeah, I, I cannot wait to describe Xena's driving here in a second. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> I 
I will say Joan Jet bad reputation is fucking blasting in the car again. Three successes. I am, why am I not surprised? I love Joan Jet. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. But it's that song every time. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Three successes. Hair is iconic. Me and Petunia are just weaving like nobody's business. Oh, Petunia's just wiggling excitedly because she's like, I'm doing something important. I'm uh -huh. important. La, la, la. The Pibble is just sitting there. I roll down the window for her so she can oh, stick her head out. Oh, she's so happy. She is my unofficial siren right now. Oh, yeah, she's howling as y'all are driving. Yep. Meanwhile, you just see as Xena just speeds past you and just, like, screeches around people. And, like, you can see the, the van, like, kind of tilt slightly as she's driving. Uh, I mean, Brendan is weaving in and out of traffic, you know, no, this is high like speed, but... Bat shit. Yeah, and he's just like, your mama's crazy. <laughs> and the dog just panting happily, like she's just happy to be there. Mm hmm. Uh, the other two in the car, I need you to roll Dex Athletics. Yeah, no, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> it's my car. What the shit? <laughs> They're like on the vomit comet, just floating ever so often. No, she's blasting Joe Jet in the car, and it's just pinball back there. <laughs> yeah. It's like that scene in the, at the very beginning of Deadpool where everyone's just getting tossed around. Yeah, yeah no. Fuck it. <laughs> Luke is getting tossed around, but he's, he's, he's in it for the long haul at this point. He's like... You said it was this, death this, dex athletics? Yeah, he's like, this woman's hot. I, 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 I... I, I... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, he's... <laughs> He's like, this is the best as, uh, big titty goth girl I have ever met in my life. As I roll, initially, I rolled one success. one success. I then re rolled for two successes. Oh, you're, you're. Are you buckled in? No, he is not. Oh, you fly in the back of the van. Um, anyways. <laughs> so that's three successes. <laughs> in the back of the van. Falls back up to the front. Let's go. And you just, you'll see the van, like, almost tilt towards the ground, and, like, all y'all are just, like, rolling around in the fucking car. <laughs> and it's just like, no, your mom is crazy as hell. <laughs> gonna come out more bruised than the actual fight. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I will, I will say, sorry, guys, uh, she slams on the brakes in front of the hospital. Just, be, like, oh. all against the, that thing of, like, everyone, like, I get, like, slushed up against the windshield. Yep. I no, there, I have a strong feeling that windshield is like would have a hard time holding Luca. <laughs> it just pops out. <laughs> it rolls up no, the it just goes, goes flying through. out of the windshield and rolls down the hood of the car, <laughs> and then plop. Oh, back up. Let's go. Boink. <laughs> it's a glass shard, like at the arms or whatnot. Let's go. Okay, and then pulls um, into the county corner. Luca, you took a normal damage. Yeah, that's fine. Um, however, oh. I need everybody to roll wits awareness. And yes, Sam, you can use instinct. Oh, thank God. I can actually use a specialty. Yes. Uh, is this something unnatural? Correct. For, so I can use my sensei unnatural? You can. All right, so... Pull up the. I got it. It is an endowment, correct? Uh, that would uh, be Wits uh, Occult. Wits Occult? Yes. All right. Um, it'll be a difficulty three. Okay. Edit. Maybe. I don't know. I have three successes. Okay. Four successes. Okay. Three successes. There's something ain't natural around here, and then all y'all look, and you hear screaming in the parking lot, and something being shaken. Like, metal crunching and shaking. Immediately oh. jumping back in the van to get that trank rifle. Okay, you get the trank rifle. Do you go to where's the screaming happening? Uh, yes. Weapon up. Um, you see a car... Um, that has a woman with violet hair 
a very buff woman screaming, a little wiener dog that just looks happy to be there in the car, and a six foot four tall cyberpunk goth mommy that has mask and oh, smoke oh. rolling out of her mask <laughs> with bright blue and violet cyber locks. And they're all screaming in this car, and there's this big, giant, reddish tint werewolf just shaking the ever living shit out of the car and is crunching the car down. The same reddish tint that we know is bad, or the reddish tint that we've seen before and knows is good? Gloria. For recognition, please roll me. Intelligence resolve. All of us or just them? All of you. Intelligence resolve, okay. Hi, guys. Uh, spoiler, you ran into the second group. Yeah. What? No. Yeah, I figured. Dice sparks. Intelligence One success. Oh. Nope. Please work, please work, please work. Fuck. I got zero successes. On seven dice. Two. <laughs> and it, it's bad when Luca does better than you, man. What the fuck? <laughs> right. well, Brynn's a little distracted. Uh, Y'all cannot tell <laughs> if it's Gloria or Big Red. As we're now calling him. Pacer time. It's like... Just race the train rifle. It's like fuck. Different Gloria, not the Gloria you know, wacky. Like, is that? It's like I can't fucking tell. Brennan doesn't oh, pause. We'll he my... just takes out a taser and fires. She stops for a second. Oh, you fire, Dex firearms, please. Oh no. I was gonna oh, say I was gonna at least. <laughs> I was, gonna say, I was at least gonna pop one at the like the ground or something to get its attention, not at the thing at least. <laughs> this is a taser. A taser. Yeah, Dex firearms, please. Yeah. Okay. Just just let me know how that works for you. Uh one success. It does not work for you. <laughs> Um, See, Brandon doesn't hits, recognize it, does all... it hits. <laughs> He's just like it hits. There's a little buzz, and then she just slams the car down, turns, narrows her eyes at you. I need all of you to roll me. Whatever is your unspent willpower. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Unspent willpower. Unstent willpower. That is. Oh. I guess just like normal roll? Yep. Because you guys okay, cannot, sure like y'all cannot setting. use danger dice for this. <laughs> yeah, that's too uh, successful. I, was I wasn't sure if there was a specific setting or whatnot in it. <laughs> Ew. Ew. One. Come on. Stop being a butt phone. Brendan just sees Red Fur going crazy. So you are acting on your drive now at this point. Yeah. Okay. At this point, I'm also got one for defending or you got one defending others. I also have one. Yeah. Brendan got two, and the other two got one. All of you fail. Fear rolls through your body and your mind is just shutting down. So you know when something is super traumatic, your brain tends to repress things? Mm-hmm. Like, yep. This is what's happening. Brandon is back in those woods. You're not going to remember this at all. You are under the effect of what is called delirium. Because she is in Krenos, that's just what happens. And y'all mm -hmm. are still technically mortal, so this does apply. Um, unless you have Repel, 
the supernatural. Mm -mm. So, all of you hear the little voice in your head saying, run. Oh, Brendan books it into the hospital. Okay, good. Perfect. Sam? I'm thinking. You hear because the instinct to run. I'm not sure if it's just because of his training or what he's been through. I feel like there's a possibility he may have been in, in situations like that before where everything is screaming to get out of there. Mm hmm To where he's not initially going to run, but going to try to buy them time. I need you to roll something for me then. Okay. Another unspent willpower. So does this use up a willpower every time? Okay. It's what you haven't spent. Yeah, well, I get that. Which leaves me at four. So same pool. Yep. While he's doing that, and do I realize this is also probably the hospital where Brendan's sister works? I'll get to you in a minute. Oh, shit. Dang it, still nothing. Is she a Two. touchstone? Yes, she is. Okay, thank you. Two. Your body's telling you buying time is not the wisest idea. Retreating is the best option. I guess in that point, he's keeping the weapon pointed at Arjun and looking to see where the best escape route is your car <laughs> so bad. just rifle up just taking deliberate steps back he's not taking his right hit this the trank rifle off target at all he's hyper focusing mm. his perception of everything else goes or going around him is negligible he's getting out thing where you're in such a state you're tunnel visioning Okay. You get in the van? I think it's more using the van as cover. Okay. Luca. This is something Luca has never fucking experienced before. Fear? To this extreme. Yeah. You. He is frozen in place. Ah, so we're having freeze instead of flight. Yes. Perfect. I'll get to you in a second. Robert. I had to give you content. Brendan. You mean Brendan? You have the same character. Brendan. Mm hmm You go inside. The first thing you notice as you're in your fear state is the lights are flickering and broken and shattered. There's claw marks all over the walls, and then you smell blood. Immediately pulling the A lot pistol. Of it. You walk in, you see bodies on the floor nurses, doctors. Patients. Are just panic searching. Checking to see if anybody's alive. You are going through the hospital. Up to a certain room, there's a lot of damage. Past that room, there isn't. The I nurse push is into the room. Everyone's dead. However, you see some people in the back. Some of the nurses and doctors are just standing there horrified. I pull out my badge. 
You don't, oh. you don't see your sister in that group. I hold up my wrist. She's like, "Where's Sam? Where's Sam?" Huh? Not you, honey. Oh God damn it, Samantha. She's a nurse, Dr. if Livingston. I remember correctly. No, she's a trauma surgeon. Uh, they're like she's in surgery right now. Which? Where? She's performing a surgery right now. God. So not here. N no, she's on the third floor. Where's the thing that was doing all this? Uh, what thing? He's looking around. I I, I don't know what happened. All right. Get. Do you check the room where most of the destruction is? Yeah. After he checks to make sure that they're okay and tells them to get the fuck out, you know. Yeah. Take the stairwell, get to a different floor. So you go into the room. There is a woman, older, frail, that looks similar to Gloria. I'm just holding a gun up at her. Who who are you? She's dead. She looks peaceful. I walk over, pull her chart. If is there a chart still on the bed or I take a look at the chart. Um She has been here due to kidney failure. And with my training, I can look and to see that she passed from renal failure, right? Correct. I think it's at that moment of recognition that I understand what's going on now. Yeah, I think it just clicked, too. Mm -hmm. Well, he puts the gun away. I think that would take him... Would that take him out of that fear, knowing what just... What yeah. this is? He would turn around and book it back downstairs. Okay. Luca. Yeah. Roll me a strength athletics, please. Okay. Please tell me you're good at that. Please tell me you're good at that. That 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 is what the sheet says I'm good at. That's what the sheet says. If I roll but good, we all I roll know good. The well, we all know how these dice are. They're like, mm, you're exactly. bad at something, which is mm, what, fuck you. Which you're is good why at something, said, fuck you harder. Which is why I said, that's what the sheet says. Who oh, success is... Now, you see as a clawed paw goes right towards you, and the fist is on fire. Oh. Oh, Can oh shit. Can I drink the thing? You are grabbed by the throat and slammed into the concrete. You are taking two aggravated damage. Yes. Two to both. Tech, ambition, and desire. God damn it, Zeta. <laughs> I mean, where's the lie? The ambition of saving, saving non-supernatural from supernatural, as well as the desire of protecting and defending others. Considering he still had the Trank rifle pointed downrange at the threat. What is your drive? Drive. Atonement. And the redemption protecting others from the supernatural. Are you in despair currently? I am not. Okay, so let me pull it up. One second. Hi, guys. I love this new Wikipedia. Drives. Yours is atonement, correct? 
correct. Okay. And then let me see your creed real quick. What is your creed? Marshall. Okay, one second. Oh, they got the Hunter Wiki up on Paradox. Cool. Yep. So, if you are, were acting on your drive, you are allowed to use Desperation Dice fifth, yeah. 5. And this will be a Dex Firearms. Okay. Difficulty? The odds. 4. Hey, what's, what's difficulty mean? That's how many successes DC. you have to get. Okay, okay. So that's what difficulty's for. So yes. firearms is three dexterity is four sets. Seven. Desperation. You say desperation five. Correct. No bean. Oh my god. You cry baby. Just trying to break in again. Yes. In difficulty four. Oh no! What'd you get? Uh, he over he did the overexertion, but he has fucking overreach or nine despair. Successes? Nine successes, though. Okay, so have you seen the little um pamphlet that I put in the Discord? Uh, where is it at exactly? It should be in the general. So, if you do overreach, oh god, it's so small. I've got to freaking open it. Gotta open it in a new tab. Okay, here's yep. the thing. Overreach test passes and creatures danger by one for each of your desperation dice. This may have dire consequences. It's also a win. If you go in despair, you automatically fail. You have a choice. We're gonna overreach this seems like a point where an overreach would actually be very not necessarily like mechanically desirable but also like this seems to be something that would happen in cool. character just know there will be consequences it may not be immediate yeah just so you are aware aware <laughs> <laughs> I'm not aware I'm a human but uh You fire. It hits. You watch as she just drops Luca like he's a rag doll. And she starts stumbling off. And she just starts pulling it out, drops it. And right when she's about to hit the street, thump. It's about this time Robert or Brenda makes it back outside. Yep. He runs over to her and pulls her back into the garage area. Are they shifting form or are they still? They're still in Krenos. Because you knocked them out, but you see it's starting to slightly recede. But here's the other mm -hmm. issue. You don't know how long this is going to last. Yeah. Brayden is just like talking to her. You she's know. Just laying there. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that she went that way. Then he's like, all right, let's get her ass in the van. Ugh! Just loads another another dart. He, he, unfortunately, he is hyper-focusing, so he's, still, he's literally... He hasn't taken eyes off it. He's loading another one. He still has the weapon downrange. He's still just Brandon, there. Yeah, Brendan looks over at the car real quick with the three... Kind three. It's gone. Oh, they took off? Okay. They took off. The car is gone. 
Yeah. There's probably After, pieces of the car leading, leading mm -hmm. a trail of where they went. After helping get Gloria into the van, Brittany goes over and checks on Luca. Yeah, uh, Luca, you, you, everything hurts. Can I check him over to make sure, you know, there's nothing like super broken or internal bleeding or anything like that? Sure. Like, am I still in the state? Or, it, it, like, is that washed over at this point? It's gone. Uh, by the way, intelligence on medicine for you. Okay. Also, um, Sam, since you are hyper focused, can you please roll um, Wits Awareness Instinct? Wits Awareness Instinct. Oh, shit. Uh, that is a critical with seven successes. He might have broken, broken a couple ribs. Oh, oh, that, let's get you up here, bud. And couple burn let's get marks. You some. Yeah. We'll, we'll put some aloe on the power and I'll give you some ibuprofen for the ribs. You'll be fine. With all, with, with, with all due respect, leave me alone for a moment. Three. Three successes. <laughs> While good old Brendan and Luca are having the conversation, you look over the van surrounded by shadows. At that point, quite literally, just. Do you look like inside of the van? Uh huh. As you open the van, the shadows fade and glory is gone. Where's Zena? Zena is walking out of the hospital. Did, didn't Zena tell us to put her in the van? Didn't, yeah, didn't I just help Zena put Gloria yeah, in the van? My bad. Zena is focused on watching the outside just in case something shows up my bad my brain adhd what the fuck huh she's gone oh shit wait, wait how, what do you mean she's gone shadows came out of nowhere from all sides and built the inside of the van and just gone What is the ability to do that? Um, that's definitely some weird kindred shit. Vampire oh, shit. What time is it about M? Y'all are getting to around 1 a.m. Renan pulls out his phone and calls the morgue. Hello, this is Dr. E Dr. Emery. Hey, it's Brendan. Yes. So, prepare for a rush. There's some shit we're done at IU downtown. I know. But also, but also, weird question. Do you know anything about shadows stealing people? Um, I mean... That sounds like Oblivion, but it sounds like something either my clan will do or Los Sombras. Okay, because we just had that happen to a guru. Oh, that's interesting. Um, also, yeah, um, I, I knew about the hospital. How? Uh. It literally just happened. I have a Nosferatu contact. Okay. Um, her name is Bug. She let me know there was a bunch of shit going on at the hospital. And I also say, um, I remember the name off of Gloria's, I guess, grandmother's chart. Mother's. Mother's chart. I'm like, hey, when this person comes in, you know, 
all the love and care we can give. So don't. Please. Be there. Correct. Okay. This is a special one. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask. I know. But. Yeah, you're either looking for Hakata or La Sombra. Alright, thank you. I will. Uh huh. Repay the favor. Well, at least I have dinner coming in. Yeah. Yeah, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. I know, it's so great. Yeah. Okay, that's enough dark you humor know, for this situation. It's gonna be fun talking to them. It's fun talking to corpses. I bet your conversations grow a little bit different than mine when I'm working. Oh, yeah, no, they actually talk to me. I need to sit in on one of your autopsies yeah, one time. I can sh yeah, I can definitely show you how to speak with the dead. It's a lot of fun. Interesting. I'll make a note of that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, all right. Though, be careful. Eyes are watching you. Uh, I know. I know. Toodles. Thank you. Toodles. Click. I'm like. She sounded so excited. Yeah, she sounded like aroused, excited. The tricks that come in. I'm just like, yeah, no, I am not going back to the office for a little bit because she's, she's going to be. <laughs> she's going to have a smorgasbord. She has a charcuterie board. Yeah, yeah literally. <laughs> For those who do what, not I'm, know, I'm not say what comes to mind. for those who do not know, Emery is what is called a grave robber. She feeds off of corpses. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just like Alessandra or Hakata. Hakata could do this kind of stuff. Well, we need to find them and fast. Luca will be upset with the whole situation and the fact that he froze up as bad as he did and he's currently beating up a nearby car. He doesn't care <laughs> whose car it is. It's just not the Jeep. You're taking damage or, every just time not the you, van. you just took a damage hitting the car. <laughs> uh, he does not care right now. It's that fucking blind <laughs> rage. For Gotham, I guess. Oh, yeah. Basically. <laughs> yeah, you hey, also hey, you feel sorry for whoever's it feels sorry for whoever's car this is, but they're going to walk out of that hospital and their car's not really going to be functioning well. Brenda looks at it. Oh, no, that's just like the hospital lawyer. Go to town, my man. No, it's your sister's car. Ah, oh, shit. No. Oh, God. She's gonna... Please stop hitting that car in particular, Luca. That's my sister's car. Rips off the door, throws it down. <laughs> Speaking Hopefully of which, your sister is leaving the hospital at this point and she just looks at all of you. Brendan is probably like Brendan. Hey Sam. She looks like she was she's exhausted and she, she's like, I just got done with an eight and a half hour surgery. He just hands her the keys to his Jeep. Good boy. And you owe me a new car. <laughs> Luca Looks just at throws Luca. money at her. <laughs> I'm just Luca imagining just Luca just money pulling out direction. a huge wad of freaking cash just <laughs> pinging it off someone's head. <laughs> Pings off Brendan's head. Ah, oh, How many go. dots and resources do you have? Uh, No, that's a thing. I know that's a thing. I know I have that. Two dots. You lost a dot of resources. Damn. That hurt. Alright. Actions have consequences. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that's, I will, that's fine. Um, I will get... We will get you a new car. Yeah. Also, I have been told I'm not allowed to come back into work the next couple of days. Something happened did on you, the first floor? Did you not see everything when you No, I wasn't allowed to go anywhere near it. They made me go out the back. Yeah. Uh, there was and someone went a little nuts and hurt some people 
it's been handled. This shit happens. Okay. Um, I see. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go home and like go to bed. Yeah. I Tell am... Becca hi, and I will talk to y'all later. There's a lot going on. A lot. Personal stuff. And I'm pretty sure Brandon at this point looks like absolute shit. Because he probably hasn't slept in a couple days and hasn't yeah. shaved, ha has not done any kind of personal self-care. She gets in the, in the Jeep and leaves. I was going to say, she probably looks at the whole group and sees just how ragged they look. She doesn't care. Uh-huh. She doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. She just, she just got out of, like, an eight-hour surgery, man. She she don't give a shit. No, by all means. I'm, I'm not saying that she needed to care. It's just she just sees. Everyone just uh -huh. does not look well. Yeah. And on that note, that's where we're going to leave it. Oh, this is looking like hammered shit. I'm sorry, Sam. Hey, y'all, y'all hit a good point. Y'all hit the point a lot yeah. faster than I thought you were. Sorry about your girlfriend. Fuck you. <laughs> he, he, he. Actually, there is a little cutscene that I'm gonna do. Oh, okay. Oh, you're evil. So, in a room somewhere in Indianapolis, there's Gloria sitting there screaming as the tranks have worn off. She feels a set of fangs sink into her and being drained dry. And then all she tastes is blood in her mouth. <laughs> and when she opens her eyes, all she sees is a blonde man standing right in front of her. Son of a bitch. Older. In a very nice suit. Looking down. And he just smiles. And he's like, I hope you're not a disappointment like my child or Daniel. My other child, uh, the big red one that's running about, I think you're going to be perfect. Such a shame, though. <laughs> Such a shame, though. Poor Zack isn't going to know what to do with himself. I think it's about time I show my face to him again soon. I mean, he did let me live. And that's where we're leaving it. <laughs> Sam's face is like, I... oh no! Damn. So you now know it is not the La Sombra Keeper of Elysium out of character. Mm-hmm. It's not the one that's got who's taking care of Brendan's wife no that's not daniel yeah this guy is not daniel daniel i'm guessing is big red no daniel's the keeper of elysium y'all met him outside of the hotel oh that's right that's yeah. right that's right so this is daniel sire in that case uh-huh so now you know the two abominations are la sombra out of character. So, In character, y'all do is, not know. So, wait. Is Daniel Big Red then? No. Because he was... Oh, no. Okay, so he has another... He is the original childer. Oh, okay. So he's a disappointment because he's so, not like that. Yeah. So, so Daniel Sire is the one who made Big Red. Correct. And is attempting to make another one. He did, successfully. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Sorry about your girlfriend. How are we hey man, feeling? Now you... no, 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 hold up, hold up. Sam, now you understand the shit she's been putting me through on her fucking stream. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You didn't think Ugh. I was going to bring up the person you let live, did you? Did you, Sam? No, I didn't. One of the ones from his past. I told you the, the season finale, the finale is going to be a doozy. Oh, I don't think any of us are going to survive the finale. Probably not. Are you upset with me, honey? No, no, of course not. The gifts, the gifts that are currently being put in memes have nothing to do with that. Ah, he's fine. He's fine. Do y'all have any theories about. or no? Because I basically laid it all down. Theories, no. End result? Uh, so, I don't know who Big Red is. I know that this guy made Big Red, and Big Red's the one who attacked Brendan and his family. And has now turned Gloria into a thing. Um, so, y'all got to see the second group. Yeah, for uh, just a moment. Unfortunately, yeah. Mikey's Ventru was not there during that session, so you did not get to see the baby Ventru. So y'all saw the buff Malkavian, the Tremere, and the NPC Nosferatu. Just like, huh. Okay, so who's who? Liz is the Tremere. Mm hmm. Malagros Purple hair. is the buff Malkavian. Of course. Okay. And Mikey's the Ventru. Okay, gotcha. Okay. And Cyberpunk, Cybergoth is, is, is Nos for is, after. Is my baby Nos. Is my best Nos baby. Yeah. Oh, no. Wacky loves my Nosferatu so much. He loves Ladybug. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Is this same, the same Ladybug? Is that, is that bug that is the... Uh... She's canonically deaf. Yeah, but she's the connection to Emery, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And she was also mentioned briefly in our home game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, she was more than mentioned briefly. We rescued her. Yeah, she did. Um, so starting with Husbando, where can we find you? Hmm. Are you still Other than me? swearing vengeance into the void. <laughs> uh, Tuesdays, you can find me over with ADH Adventures. So the shows or for the channel's flagship show. We're actually coming as of next month. We're coming upon the three year mark. Tuesdays, you can find or no, not Tuesdays. I just said Tuesdays. Wednesdays, you can find me over on Dinner and a Game with one of this channel's other cast members, Liz. Mm -hmm. And then here, whenever I can actually manage to get the time and energy to do other stream stuff. Maybe streaming a Nuzlocke. I just got to figure out which Pokemon game to do. It's between one of two. Okay. Uh... <gasps> Dan, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and Threads under Eskol's Tower. So I dropped that X crap because blech. And here on the next few Saturdays for this stream. Um, Seb. Yeah, you guys can find me here uh, Saturdays for this game, obviously. Uh, currently Mondays, uh, I'm on night shift at work, so I have not been able to attend to Monday's games. But uh, we'll be back. this week, but next week, I will be back for a brief stint, and then I'll be gone again. Yes, which I have plans. 
Hi, and I'm Star Shard Stories, or Star Shard Story, on most corner of the internet. Um, so as a reminder, we are playing World of Darkness, and a uh, good announcement is I'm an affiliate with Renegade Game Studios, so if you like stuff like this, which is Werewolf the Apocalypse, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, Hunter the Reckoning, or even other TTRPGs such as Power Rangers, uh, I have an affiliate link now in our, in our About Me section in the Sponsorship section. Um, just so you know, if you click on the link, I will be very straightforward with you. If you click the link and purchase things off of my reference link, I get 10% of that purchase back. That is just the total without tax and shipping. Um, that money goes into my pocket. 10% of all sales. Um. Give our money. Yes. Um, as Does always. As always, there are some upcoming books for World of Darkness that is coming out. There For Hunter the Reckoning, there's Alma Mater's, uh, which is more of a university-based theme, and which will go a little bit more into your edges and perks and everything, and has a story with it. Um, Blood Sigils is now out on PDF, um, which is all about your thaumaturgy. Apparently, there's a new Thin Blood Alchemy thing that a Thin Blood can make a pill, and when you eat it, it makes you shit your blood bonds out if you have a blood bond. <laughs> Doesn't Taco Bell do that already? Um, yes, this is a real fucking thing. Um, thin Blood Taco Bell. What? All right. Thin also, Blood Taco Bell. New name. Okay. Also, one of my favorite blood rituals already in Blood Sigils is one of those that you can make a plant that eats corpses. Audrey 2. Checks out. Checks out. Um, also coming Ain't out here soon more. for Vampire the Masquerade V5 is Bloodstained Love, which is a romance book on how to do romance in a more of a safe way for Vampire the Masquerade V5. There are some really cool merits and stuff if you've seen the previews of it. I'm super excited for it to come out. Also coming out next year is Crimson Gutter, which is focusing on the Church of Cain. Please do not um, confuse it with Sabbat. The Church of Cain and Sabbat are two different entities, and they absolutely hate each other. The Church of Cain believe that they are angels sent by God, or Cain, if I remember correctly. Um... Also, for Werewolf the Apocalypse, The Scent of Decay will be coming out next year, which will be more of an expansion and chronicle kind of thing for Werewolf the Apocalypse, because it's one of the newer books. Um, After that, I don't think there's anything else for that stuff coming out for pre-order for right now that my brain can think of. Are they not going to do a 5th edition for Mage? They did not announce anything about that this year. Um, I wish. I really want 5th edition mage. Also, you can usually find me on Mondays on Beggar Street at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time or 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Running Twin Cities by Night, The Ascent of Samuel, which, uh... What? Not you. Which has oh, Dice and Autism, Radio Free Will, and Short Beard the Bar. The Chronicle is heating up. We're actually getting near the end of it. We're about to go into a bloody praxis where I last left off the session. It was announced that the prince is dead. Also, on Mondays, you can find me here on the Starfield at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time running Changeling the Lost. DC's Lost. Uh, which two of the NPCs who died in Season 1 are now back alive. Daisy and Ash are back alive, and it has been discovered they are... A, they have a secondary kith known as Reborns. Or, for Ash, it's a tertiary. He has three kiths now, that poor boy. Um, on Tuesdays, you can find me on Dinner and a Game with uh, Vex um Circle DM, a.k.a. Snakes Akasha, Madness Diamond, for A Small Town Life, a Monster of the Week game, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh... You can find me on Dicey Tables Podcast, which we're doing a 5e campaign. It's been great. I know we haven't been posting regularly because one of the episodes is taking super long to edit out because there were so many technical difficulties with it. Um, also, Wacky's the only one editing, and God bless his heart, he, he's doing his best. Um, on Saturday mornings, you can see this show at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, whenever the hell I feel like running this goddamn game. What did you say? Think I said? It didn't say like tentic. It didn't sound like technical. It sounded like you said tentic, tentacle difficulties. <laughs> tentacle difficulties, absolutely. That's an after dark game, Sam. Yep. 
Um, that's after. That's post watershed. Thank you. Yep. And after, by the way, uh, we will be running these the indie circle for four more weeks, and then the chronicle is wrapped up, and then we'll be moving to early Friday evenings, which I am still picking a cast for for Midnight Codex. It'll be a twelve part series. Um, I already have one confirmed player. That will be Dyson Autism, um, which I am super excited for. Um, and then pretty soon we'll be running Werewolf the Apocalypse on here, and it's going to be a great time. Um, other than that, good morning, good afternoon, good night, happy time zone. Happy time zone. I'm tired. Good night. I need a nap. Hi, Tom.